Hear ye, hear ye, here comes the judge. It is the Yogi Judge, Judge Dawson, and I'm here for another message of power and inspiration. Hopefully you've been enjoying these messages, whether you're watching on YouTube or you are listening to the podcast. I do this for one reason and one reason only, is to give you tools so that you can avoid negative interaction with the legal system. So every time I get on any social media platform, don't get it twisted. I have one goal and one goal only, and that's to make sure that you avoid negative interaction with the legal system. Now, you know I've been a judge for 11 years. It's been a long time and still not long enough. But I have experienced so many ups and downs, so many trials and tribulations, not just from what I see in the courtroom, but also from personal experience. So when I bring these workshops and I bring these messages, it's all aimed at giving you information from the tools I've gathered, whether it's through the courtroom cases or emotional intelligence or just being a leader. So keep in mind, even if you think this podcast or YouTube video is not for you, maybe it's for somebody that you care about. Maybe there's somebody who can listen to this message and their life will be changed dramatically because you shared it. So don't hesitate to share this message with everyone that you know so that we can continue to grow. All right. So today I want to talk to you about leadership. And we've been doing that for quite a while because you know that Either you're here because you volunteered to be here or maybe your probation officer made you listen or look at my 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 workshop or my video. But nevertheless, we can all gain from some of these principles. And today I want to talk to you about leadership and specifically the message is titled watching the game, watching the game. Now, when you think about watching the game, the first thing you come come to mind is probably something that deals with sports, right? You're watching a football game or you're watching a basketball game and you're simply enjoying what's going on. But the message in this podcast, the message in this video log is that there's a deeper appreciation and something even deeper you can get from watching the game. And I'm not just talking about sports. Now I'm shifting it to leadership. We need to be willing to watch how the game is played. Too often we travel through life thinking, you know what? I got it all together. I don't need anybody. I don't need any help. But you will be a better person if you watch the game. And not just you, but also me. If I watch the game, I will get better. And so remember, in order to get better, we have to surround ourselves with better information and better tools. And watching the game is just one of those tools that we can use to get better. So what you need to do and what we should focus on is studying people who are in places where we want to be. I say that again. We need to study the people who are in the places that we want to be. Now, as a judge, I'm hoping for you and I that that's a positive place, right? We don't want to necessarily study the drug dealer on the corner because we don't want to do anything illegal to achieve our goals. We don't want to study the person who goes home and commits domestic violence every day because we know that anger is not being your best self. So even as a judge, I have to always bring it back in to let you know I'm talking from a positive standpoint. Where do you want to be in the next five years of your life? Where do you want to be in the next 10 years of your life? And who is in the position where you would like to be? Because, ladies and gentlemen, there is value in watching the game. See, there's a myth I want to get rid of. The myth was that, you know, if somebody imitates you, they're doing you a disservice or they're trying to take something from you or trying to lessen your impact. Whereas the reality is, if they are imitating you, that's a form of flattery because they're showing you that you've done something correct, that you've done something right or something to be aspired to. Same thing applies to you and I when we are watching the game. There is no disrespect for you to say, you know what, LeBron James is the only player in NBA history to have over 10,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, and 10,000 assists. I wanna see how does he do it. There's nothing wrong with that. 
There's nothing wrong with saying Tom Brady has broken so many records as a quarterback. I want to know exactly how he releases the ball when he throws it. And the same thing for leadership. You want to say, hey, you know what? So-and-so ran for city council and he won. He beat the incumbent. How did that happen? Or another example, my friend just graduated from X, Y, and Z school and has a certification in X, Y, Z. And you want to know how it's done. So my message for you today is that we need to be willing to watch the game because success leaves clues. There will always be a clue as to what you can do to reach the level of success that you're trying to reach. Whether it's the person saying that, you know, I went back to school and I studied every day. Or maybe they're going to say that, you know what, I stayed up late nights after working, after coming home tired from work. I still picked up a book and tried to learn this trade. Whatever their secret to success, the clues are all over the place. So the first barrier that we have to get over is that we have to be willing to watch the game. We have to be willing to apply what someone else did to our lives so that we can get in a better position. So again, don't worry about imitating anybody else because that's a form of flattery. And most importantly, find that someone that you can imitate. Surround yourself with people who are being successful, the people who are interested in success, and those who will help you get success. Because after you make that decision, the hard part will be finding the person because not too many people really want to share their secrets to success. They just don't. They'll tell you, you know what, get up every morning and just grind, 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 and you will make it. But what they won't tell you is, well, you know what, they had a blessing. Somebody funded their investment or funded their dream, and that's how they got it off the ground. They won't tell you that. But if actually, you don't even need to know that. All you really need to do is look at that person as the blueprint and figure out what they did. Maybe they'll tell you. Maybe you'll figure it out on your own. But the key for this message is to be willing to watch the game. You can't control whether or not they're going to help you. You can't control whether or not they're going to give you all the secrets that you need because most times they won't. But what you can control is the energy that you spend. And that energy has to be toward watching the game. Another important part about watching the game, and this is what I'm going to leave you with, is that it directs your focus. Because where your focus goes, your energy flows. Again, where your focus goes, your energy flows. So if you are always focusing on negativity and dealing with negative people and trying to say, you know what, I can't do it. No one will help me. That's where your energy is going to go. But in the alternative, if you're saying, you know what, I'm going to watch the game. I'm going to figure out how it's played and I'm going to put all of my energy toward finishing my first ebook or opening that business or going back to school or getting that certification. Whatever it is that you want to accomplish, when you put your focus on a certain thing, that's where your energy will go. And most importantly to our conversation is where your focus goes your energy will go and then you will grow. So, ladies and gentlemen, short and sweet as usual for me. I'm not trying to hold you long. But what I do want to do and what I hope to always do is leave you with something that you can use, something that you can pass on or maybe just ingrain in your head to help you accomplish your goals. Look, I don't have all the answers. I am still growing every single day. But one thing for sure is that I am committed to the growth. And part of that commitment to growth is being willing to watch the game. So that's my message for you today. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube page at Judge Dawson. Catch me on all social media platforms because I do this for free. And why not get free game from a person who has experienced life's ups and downs? And I have seen it up close and personal in my courtroom. I don't just want to see you in the courtroom. I want to see you on that ladder to success. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So until we meet again, I will see you very soon. I always like to bring in that yoga part of my life and end with the salutation of namaste.